How's it going everyone? Uh, this is a video going to be um, one part of a tutorial series I'm planning to make um, that will um, show how to make a very simple platformer um, with the objective to um, control a player, to avoid obstacles such as like spikes that can um, destroy you and then re re reset the entire level. Um, and then something like a a goal item, um, which will be required in order to complete the level, in order to go on to the next stage. Um, that is kind of the overarching goal. Um, but in this video, I'm just going to do some... Um, we're going to make a program that will uh, have a player that you can control, um, that will also have gravity applied to it. Um, it won't be anything super complicated. Um, but it will be somewhere we can start off. Um, so to start it off, uh, you're gonna need a um, a directory um, somewhere that you can run uh, the Love Engine on. Um, so I just have it uh, on my desktop in a folder named Lua inside another folder called Me Too Platformer, and then in here I have two files: um, conf.lua and main.lua. Um, as you can see, main.lua is empty, and then conf.lua just um, in, contains an um, instruction to put the love window on my second monitor that I'm recording on. Um, so if I run this, um, as you can see, an empty uh, game comes up. Essentially empty. Um, so uh, let's get started. We're going to need um, to define our player. Um, as a table, and inside this table, we're gonna get some some basic. Uh, we're gonna fill it out with some some variables. So x position, uh, a y position, are the must, need, requirement, minimum for anything you're gonna draw on the screen. It needs x and y position. Uh, it has been a, a width variable. Uh, for now, we'll just set this to something like. 32 and a height variable um, which we'll assign to 64 um, so the height will be two times larger than the width uh, and we're also going to need a gravity variable which will be our constant um, a uh, sort of gravity um, and then as well as um, A run speed. Uh, I'll sign this to 600. Uh, these variables are variables. I'm going to change them at a later date. I'm just assigning them to arbitrary integers um, that I that I have used before. And I I kind of have some idea of what range I should put these in, but of course they can always be played with uh, at a later time. So um, now we have our player table. Let's define some uh, some functions that we need. So we're going to need um, an initialization function. So player.initialize, um, we're going to take an x and a y, and then we're going to assign the player.x and player.y um, to the arguments. Now we have that. Um, I guess I should call this set position, because that's really what's happening. Um, so now we have player dot set position. Let's make another variable called player dot update, and then we're gonna call some functions that we haven't made yet, um, but we will in just a second. So player dot uh, move, um, and then also we're gonna pass in dt into that move function, and then also player dot uh, apply gravity. And we're going to pass in dt to there as well. So uh, now that we have um, our update function, let's uh, create those functions that we haven't made yet. So player.move. Um, so this player.move function, um, it's going to contain the code uh, that will move our player. Um, you probably have seen this code before. Um, 
something similar to it. Um, basically, we're just going to have the ability to move player to the left and to the right. And so if the low, if the key if the D key is being pressed down, then we're, we're going to want to uh, set the um, uh, player dot x equal to player dot x um, plus player dot speed or player dot run speed times dt. Um, else, if the a key is being pressed down, then we're going to assign player dot x variable to player dot x uh, plus minus actually not plus player dot run speed times dt because we want to move to the left. And you can replace the a key with left for arrow key and uh, same thing with the D key, you can replace it for the right for the arrow key, for the right arrow key, but um, I like A and D because it's like W, A, S, D. Um, so yeah, there we go. Um, some basic, really, really basic movement on the X axis. Now that we have that, let's do, let's apply the gravity uh, to the Y position. And so, for now, we're just going to uh, always update the uh, player.y. Um, so player.y equals player.y plus player.gravity times dt. Um, unfortunately, this is not exactly what we want. We want acceleration. And what this is is that it's constantly updating some um, our player.y value. So for now, I'm just going to make a, um, a variable called dy. Um, and actually it actually doesn't need to be local, but um, I'll make it simple and not make it local. Um, so we're going to initialize this variable called dy. Um, and dy will equal dy plus player.gravity times dt. And then what we'll do here is now that we have where we're linearly basically this this our dy variable is being updated linearly so what we'll do with that is we'll replace this player.gravity dy and what this will do is that it, it will accelerate the um, a player object on the y-axis oops cool now that we have that um Let's uh, let's use it with our love functions. So, uh, oh, there's before I do, I'll leave this here. But before I, I start filling out those love functions, we also need to draw the player. Um, so I'll create a very simple draw function. Um, dot uh, color. Let's make this. Yellow, make it yellow just because uh, I don't know. I just thought of yellow. Um, and then we'll call love.graphics.rectangle and pass in fill um, the player x position, player y position, the width and the height. Um, pretty simple, um, or fairly simple. Uh, so now, uh, Let's set. Let's initialize our our initial position um, to something like I don't know, hundred zero, or actually maybe something like uh, like the the center of the screen. So, or pretty close to the center, to the middle of the of the x-axis of the window. Um, so love dot graphics dot get width gets the width of the window. And divide by two, so we get the the middle um, x position of the window. So now we set the uh, player position. Now we're going to need to update or call our player update function. So here we'll just call player update, and then we'll also do the drop. Now if we run this. You can see, uh, kind of went by pretty fast. Let's let's decrease the gravity uh, quite a bit. 
so like it falls down slower. So you can see uh, it's going down, accelerating. Uh, starts off going accelerating fairly slow, and now it's accelerating, uh, or eventually will accelerate at an infinite rate. Um, but that would take an uh, infinite amount of time. Um, yeah, ignore what I just said. It doesn't really matter. Essentially, uh, what we have is we have a player, and we move it right and left, even though it kind of looks pretty jerky movement. Um, we have movement nonetheless. Um, so that concludes our first episode. Um, I hope you learned something. Um, I hope uh, um, if, if, not, if, if something didn't make any sense that you comment in the comment section below. Um, I will try to respond as fast as I can. Um, please give a thorough kind of description of what you, what obstacle you or what problems you're facing. Don't uh, please don't say um, I'm getting this error at this line of code. I, I don't know what your code looks like. I also don't know um, you know what led up to you writing that code. It might have just been um, something mistyped, but. Um, in any case, um, I will try my best to help anyone who's having any problems um, trying to follow in these tutorials. Um, and if something, like a, if, if a particular concept didn't make any sense, again, please ask and I'll be happy to help. But that concludes the first episode. Again, I um, hope you to see in the next one. I um, hope you liked it. Um, any uh, advice or suggestions are recommended or I'll, I'll take them I'll, I'll be happy to hear what you have to say so thank you uh, and see you in the next one